everybody and welcome back another update for pico gus it's been a little while uh, but there are a couple new firmware modes uh, there's cms emulation and tandy emulation so let's take a look at those a few other emu uh, emulation details that are fixed in gus won't quite go over those uh, but you can read the release notes in the last few firmware versions to see what else is new uh, one other little update i'm going to be taking a very short break uh, from developing pico gus just to play around with stuff but i'm going to be coming back bringing in new emulation modes, fixes for stuff. I'm starting to uh, increase my number of test benches that I have. By the way, these 3D printable test benches uh, from Tech Ambrosia over on YouTube, uh, check her out. Uh, her channel's really cool and her test benches are really neat. So anyway, let's get right to it and check out what's new. All right, let's take a look at the two new emulation modes in Pico Gus since the last time I did a video. Uh, let's do Creative Music System, aka CMS, aka Game Blaster. Uh, first, let's load the firmware. Nope, oh, it already was loaded, but it doesn't hurt to load it again, I guess. And let's check out Monkey Island 1. And uh, we need to say we want to run it with Game Blaster sounds. So, here we go. I think that sounds pretty good. All right, let's uh, try another uh, LucasArts game. Let's do the very first one I've ever played. Uh, I bought it at a Radio Shack. I don't remember the year, but it, it was Indiana Jones and the uh, Last Crusade. This one, I think I have to say keyboard and then Game Blaster to actually get it to play. But I think this one has a pretty good uh, CMS soundtrack as well. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's take a look at the next mode, which is Tandy 3 Voice. Tandy is a bit of a mixed bag for a few reasons, and I'll go through them. Uh, first of all, um, the port that Tandy runs on, uh, 0C0 hex, doesn't really work on most machines, especially anything that's a 286 or later. Uh, so there are some TSRs you have to use, but before I load that TSR, uh, let's try VGM player. 
Uh, SPVGM is pretty good and pretty much universal in terms of what it supports. Um, so this runs on port 2C0 instead of just C0 uh, in order to not conflict. Uh, the second DMA controller on uh, AT machines and higher is on port C0. Um, so, you know, let's try that. Uh, now, the cool thing is, is that Tandy Sound uses the same sound chip that's in a lot of other uh, systems, like, for example, the Sega Master System. So here's some VGM files from Streets of Rage 2 from Master System and Game Gear. Uh, I think it's Street 4. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds pretty awesome. Now, in games, the game soundtracks are not quite as crazy as that, uh, PC games. Uh, but let's go back to Monkey Island. And now we need to say Monkey TS for Tandy Sounds. And this won't sound quite as good as a CMS, but it's not too bad. And it takes a while to actually start. Yeah, man. Oh. Oh, whoops. I forgot to load the TSR uh, that does the port redirection for Tandy Sound. Uh, hold on one second. Let's actually load that TSR. Uh, it's called TNDY. Um, and this was written by uh, someone at DOS Reloaded, uh, .de, which is a German uh, forum for DOS games and things like that. Um, and uh, Matza79 uh, created a recreation of this, the Tandy uh, soundboard that works in newer machines that runs on these alternate ports. Um, and PicoGus uses uh, those same ports. You can set the base port to whatever you want, um, but uh, I have it set to 2C0 by default, which is one of the ports that the Tandy uh, board uses. So uh, to run it, Tandy Y, 0C0, 2C0, that should be enough for us. All right, now let's actually see if Monkey actually works. And it does take a while to start still. cut that off a little early because that is not the best rendition of the Monkey Island theme song but there are some other LucasArts games that have actually pretty good Tandy sound uh, Maniac Mansion and Zack McCracken are both really great examples uh, first let's try the original version of Maniac Mansion with the non-enhanced graphics uh, Modiac so a lot of these games also have to be patched so they can run with non-Tandy graphics and Tandy sound simultaneously so this is kind of hack upon hack so we have the patched EXE to use non-Tandy graphics running the TSR to redirect Tandy ports not ideal but it works a lot of the time so let's start have to pick Bernard and Razor or Razor, as I've heard uh, Ron Gilbert pronounce it.
So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, now let's try the Enhance Edition, which actually has a slightly different soundtrack. Um, Maniac, TE, Tandy Enhanced. Um, now here's where things start not quite be as good. Um, there are some differences, especially in the noise channels and things like that. So uh, compared to real Tandy or the emulation that's in DOSBox even, it's not quite as good. Especially with these cricket sounds. So yeah, that's okay, but pretty good. Um, and part of the reason why there's some of these differences is because I'm using the MU76489 uh, library, which is actually created, I think, by um, several people in Japan. And it focuses a lot on how it's used in machines there versus uh, Tandy. And there is quite a bit of difference. Um, another example is Zach McCracken. And um, one thing that's really interesting is uh, this is the enhanced version? Oh, now I'm gonna have to fast forward here because the uh, this intro takes a while. So hold on just a second. I'll fast forward. That snoring sound effect is pretty bad. <laughs> So yeah, oh yeah, and there's a hanging note bug. Let me just reset. So yeah, that's uh, how much Tandy is. I'm probably gonna swap out the emulator that I use for Tandy. Um, try the one uh, that comes from MAME. Uh, that's the one that's also used inside DOSBox. Um, it also has a few different kind of modes. Uh, I'm gonna try it out, uh, maybe in the next firmware release. Um, so also, don't forget, it's still Gus.